Hey guys and welcome to the fourth part of the Minardi F1 Manager series where we try to take Minardi to be the best team around um, and despite finishing last and second to last last race I reckon we might be able to do that um, so we got the next race is at San Marino obviously here Miller and we got the race lap record here 125 and a half by Heinzel Frentzen again again in 1997 don't know what was wrong with 1998 to be honest Oh, I don't know. But anyway, so this race is on the 30th of April. Well, it starts. The race weekend starts on the 30th of April. And obviously, we've got to check the news that happens between now and then. So I'll cut to the race. And if there's any news, then I'll cut to that. So I'll see you then. Wow. Okay, hey guys. This is just after I said I was going to cut. We've had frankly the, the best rumours I've ever heard Ford ZTEC engines which are the second worst in the game the worst you can buy and the ones that we're currently using yeah the worst engines are a lot but Jordan there's rumours that they might be using them is widely believed and I don't know why Jordan I think Jordan currently use Honda engines which are the second best you can buy and the third best in the game so I don't know why they go downhill on it's cheaper but pff. But that's not the best bit. So Jordan will be using it. That means, well, if that's true, then they're going to be terrible next year. But obviously, we're trying to we're trying to go up in the world um, by getting ourselves better parts, etc. Um, so it's good if our rivals keep on making these bad errors. You know, big teams like Jordan. So why is the biggest team of the lot <laughs> think about using the worst engines you can buy? That now I'm serious. That'd be brilliant if we've got the best team using the worst engines they can get their hands on that'd be just brilliant i would just i'll be so excited because that means we might get to beat mclaren next year so if this is true oh, oh that would just be amazing so hopefully jordan and mclaren like two of the two of the um best teams this year if they end up using ford ZTEC engines that would just be brilliant and then arrows might be using tag Hewer Electronics, which I don't know, they're not the best electronics. I don't know if they're the ones they're currently using, they might be. I don't know, but yeah, that's not really interesting. But yeah, McLaren might go from using the best engine in the game to the second worst in the game. <sighs> Crazy. Any more? Oh my god. Oh, these are just delayed sponsor emails. Of course, we knew that they won't go renew their contracts with us. They just sent their emails late. So that's fine. So because we didn't give these guys assistance because they weren't giving us that much money. So that's fine. Um, then we got test day. Where's that going to be at? Doesn't say. Well, I mean, as I've said before, I'm not going to test days. But Gustav Bruner's not happy about it, but oh well. And we just got weekly reports, so... Hang on, we only advanced one day. Oh, whatever, well... The point still stands, I'll cut to any more news, and if there isn't any, then I'll cut to the practice report. So I'll see you then. Okay, hey guys, so we're at the next lot of news, and... There are a ton of... Well, bits of news of sponsors staying committed to teams. So... I mean, they can if they can be bothered to keep on having low-paying sponsors, and that's you know that's their problem, not mine. But if you go to the bottom of all this, you've got some um, new components deals now. In fact, I haven't actually clicked on these myself, so it's going to be new news to me. But judging by these three teams, I'm guessing Arrows have gone for yes, Tag Electronics. Now, hopefully, Jordan and McLaren have agreed for Z Tech engines, and they're. Since they're the worst in the game, that'll be brilliant. That's just going to make us a lot stronger in comparison to them. So, come on, Jordan. Yes. Ford ZTEC engines are paying 20 million for them. Now, I'll t I think we're paying 15 million a year for ours. So, they're paying 5 million more. And I'll tell you what, I've arranged for much better engine deals next year. And they haven't cost anywhere near. No, I've arranged for much better engines than Ford ZTECs next year. And they've cost. Not much more than that, so Jordan scam, but here's the big one. Ar no, McLaren. Please say McLaren have gone for Ford ZTEC. Yes, they have. They've paid 21 
million for the worst engines they can get. Yes. I don't care how good a chassis and aero parts they can design, they are not going to be able to counteract that Ford Z-Tech engine's lack of power. That is, that is brilliant, that is. I think the only, god, the only rivals you might have at this rate are going to be Williams and Ferrari. Oh, this is brilliant, this is the best news I've heard. That's brilliant. Yeah, and the rest of it's just sponsors, but that's brilliant. So we got Jordan and McLaren who have just severely weakened themselves. And at a very expensive cost, that's... Wow, brilliant. Oh yeah, and I sent a email to BP Patronus, see if I can get a sponsor there, since we lost a lot of sponsor revenue. I thought, see if we can get another big name sponsor, and we can! Yes, we can get another 700,000 sponsor revenue. So that's great, so, you know, instead of having lots of small sponsors, we can just have one big sponsor. So we got BP Patronus. Not the best look, I'll be honest, not the best look. Although, don't Patronus sponsor Mercedes? Yeah. Hang on, BR. I thought it was BP Patronus. Whatever. BR Patronus. And um, don't Patronus nowadays sponsor Mercedes? And as we all know, what well, Mercedes domination was like. So hopefully... Hang on, Patrobus. It's Patrobus. I thought it was Patronus. Is he even the same company? I don't know, whatever. But anyway, if it is the same company that Mercedes have nowadays, and that's brilliant, hopefully they can give us some of their domination. And as you can see, we've just about got enough sponsorship spaces left um, to meet their requirements. So literally, that is all our sponsor spaces gone. I think that's the first time in all my playthroughs I've ever got rid of all the sponsor spaces. So there you go, BR Petrobus. I've taken up the last sponsor spaces, and that's an extra 700k per race. Is it per race? Must be. So we're going to have to... Uh, this one. Oh, they're actually our new highest paying sponsor as well. Yeah, so look, we're getting 1.9 million a race. Oh, I think... I'll be honest, before I was slightly worried about our finances, but now I know how much more they're paying us. We're fine, we're completely fine. Especially the other sponsors being happy with us. So I'm just gonna go and get, let's say, 22 assistants. So obviously, I'm gonna click on this tab, so I'm gonna cut to once I've employed an extra 22 assistants. Okay, so we've got 90 assistants working for us now. That's that's quite insane. I'm not gonna click who we got next year, not just yet, but yeah. So we've got a 90, 90 assistants. I think we got more. Um, commercial assistants working for us, and we have designers and engineers. But anyway, just to keep these guys happy, I'm going to slap on all of that, and Petrobus overall rating 72, yet Telefonica's overall rating. Oh. Oh, I thought Telefonica's rating was higher. Oh, well, I'm mistaken then. Anyway, so at the 19th of April, God, lots, a lot of interesting stuff's happening. We haven't even been at the race yet, but here we are. I'll cut to some news, and if there isn't any, then I'll cut to the practice report, so I'll see you then. Wow. Okay, hey guys, this is amazing. The news is just full of us. I mean, I say news. We knew about it ages ago, but apparently it's only just reached the press of all our um, lower-paid sponsors that have left us. And I'm certain I've seen Bossini and PDP spon um, go for other teams recently in the news. But anyway, so that's just full of us. And new barge boards have been designed by Gabriel Tredozzi. So that's brilliant, hopefully, so that means he's made one of them. So that means we're going to have to tell him to stop making the old barge boards. And stop making the new ones. And hopefully he'll be able to make a second one in time for the race. But yeah, nothing else interesting, so same thing stands. I'll either cut to some new news or the practice report for Imola. So I'll see you then. My god, what is Ron Dennis doing? Okay, hey guys. Um, I just want to know what Ron, De what Ron Dennis is thinking. I mean, I actually, I actually like the guy. I like, I think Ron Dennis is, you know, a pretty good team boss. He's one of my favourites ever, but he's lost his mind, to be honest. He's got, he's gone for Ford Z-Tech engines next year and Tag Electronics now. I don't know which ones they're currently using, but 
tag electronics aren't the best, and they're the same ones that Arrows have signed for next year, so... I don't really know what they're trying to go for, to be honest. It's really weird, but anyway. And then Salba, they're rumoured to be using um, Brembo brakes, and they're the worst in the game. And I think we're using them at the minute. Yeah, we're using Brembo brakes, so... You know, they could go for AP brakes or MR brakes. They're both brilliant, but no, we're going to possibly go for Brembo brakes. I don't know which ones they're using at the minute, but... God, we've got some weird rumours going on here. And that's it, 29th of April, so... I'm guessing... Yeah, there won't be any more news, so we're going to be at Imola for the next race. And, you know, that's a great track. Up to us. I actually love Imola. It's a shame it's not on the calendar anymore, but I think I know why. Due to It's due to safety reasons, really. Um, but yeah, hopefully our guys can have some luck here. Um, hopefully the morale boost that well, at least I've gotten from seeing our rivals make stupid decisions could help us here. Um, obviously, the, obviously they haven't got those new parts just yet. They sign up for next year, but you never know. That morale boost at Minardi could help us find some extra pace. So, I'll see you for the practice report at San Marino, Imola. So, I'll see you then. Okay, and we're on to the practice session around Imola 1999. Mika Hakkinen takes first just a thousandth faster than his teammate David Coulthard, with Michael Schumacher taking third in the Ferrari, and both Jordans of Damon Hill and Heinz Alfredson finishing ahead of the second Ferrari man, Eddie Irvine. Way behind Eddie Irvine was Johnny Herbert in seventh, with Alexander Wurtz in eighth. Runes Barrichello gets ninth, with Ralph Schumacher getting a disappointing finish for Williams in tenth. Giancarlo Fisichella gets 11th, with Jacques Villeneuve getting 12th in the BAR. Zonta gets 13th, Zanardi gets 14th, Panis gets 15th, Sean Lacy and Pedro Diniz finish 16th and 17th, with Jano Trulli to be the last of the non-backrunners in 18th. Both Bernardi finish 19th and 20th, which is pretty good finishes for them despite the fact that they ran out of fuel on their practice runs and had to end their session prematurely. Pedro De La Rosa gets 21st, and Taranasuki Takaki gets 22nd as usual, finishing way behind his teammate. Okay, hey guys, the qualifying session has just ended around Imola, and looking at the results, it's like Noah's Ark in here, so I'll just run through them now. Both McLarens line up at 1 2, with Hackman taking first and Coulthard second. Then both Ferraris line up behind, again with the driver number one ahead of the driver number two. And then both Jordans line up fifth and sixth, with Frenson taking fifth and Damon Hill taking sixth. Then Schumacher lines up with no teammate near him in seventh. Both Stewarts line up eighth and ninth, with Barrichello taking eighth and Herbert ninth. Then Giancarlo Fisichello is tenth. Zanardi is four places behind his teammate in eleventh. Verts is separated by one place to being next to his teammate in 12th. Olivier Panis is 13th, with Jacques Villeneuve splitting the two posts and being next to each other by being in 14th, with Trulli, as previously mentioned, in 15th. Both Salbers then line up 16th and 17th, with Ricardo Zonta lining up in 18th. Pedro De La Rosa is the best of the backrunners to finish 19th. The two Minardis line up 20, 20th and 22nd, and this was after a fuel scare where both Minardis made it back to the pit lane with no fuel left in their tanks whatsoever and just about managed to crawl in, with Takaki taking last as per usual. Okay, so hey guys, so we just had the qualifying report and now this is really weird. So we can see Padoa's set up here, you know, Gear Party 52, but he wants a really high rear wing and a really low front wing, which is a bit weird, but. What's even weirder is Genet has gone for a completely different setup. Gear priority, he didn't even tell me to change it, but I just thought I'll set the same as Padoa's, but he wants the rear wing to be higher and the front wing to be a lot higher than Padoa's gone for, which is just it's really weird to be honest. I don't really know, but whatever. Um so yeah, we're gonna slap on the new parts. We've got and we got new barge boards since last time. I don't think we got new anything else. No, I believe just new barge boards. Have they been able to make another barge board in time? Yes, they have. 
The good Minardi boys back at the factory, they'll be able to make another barge board. So both cars are going to have the benefit of the new barge board, which hopefully should find that extra pace. I mean, barge board's not the most significant part of a car, but you never know. That might just be able to find, provide us with that extra little bit of pace to get us past De La Rosa. And again, a two-stop strategy. I think we've, I think we've had two-stop strategies um, pretty much all of this race, so... I'm questioning what Gustav Brunner is actually doing because I mean I know he's not the best technical director around, but I just don't know, I just don't have faith. Two stop strategy. Um uh, I mean with that much fuel, surely a three stop would be better if we have to carry that much fuel, but Oh well, I I'm gonna go against where he's going for and a one well, I don't think a one stop's actually possible. I think we I don't think the cars can carry much more fuel than they are now. So I don't think a one stop's possible, but oh well, he he's the one who knows what's going on. That's what I mean. That's what we pay him for. So I'm gonna trust his opinion. Um, and I think that's everything. Brand new parts. Well, yeah, zero percent wear parts. So let's head out to the race. So Jeanne is starting nineteenth. No, he's not. He's starting twentieth. Okay, that's a slight glitch there. Well, whatever. On, when's the race going to start? And it has started, and I'm not really liking this camera angle. I want to see if he gets past anyone, not if anyone gets past him. Okay, and we, we're seeing Zanardi, that's great. Well, Zanardi, I mean, he had an interesting race last time, didn't he? He went all the way from the back to sixth position, I believe. And obviously helped by um, the multiple driver errors that race, like our two guys, but you know, Zanardi had an interesting race last time, so. It might be able to pull something out of the bag this time, especially if you can keep the car on the track this time. And what well, are guys? Let's just see. Oh, I can't even see. They're so far, they're so far behind that they didn't even appear in the back of the shot. No, hang on. If you look at the standings, that still says Genet's behind De La Rosa. And yep, there they are. Yep, Padoa still had to Sakaki. I'll be honest. De La Rosa is quite a good driver, actually. Um, and I'm not just saying that because he's ever. So he actually is an alright driver if you look for his career. Um, whereas Genet and Padoa... Actually, no, I do feel sorry for Padoa. Actually, if you look for his career, he has had... I think one of the unluckiest F1 careers ever. I mean, he, yeah. I mean, he could have actually been a Ferrari driver. I, I can't really fully remember the details of his career. But yeah, is that Jordan going to get past the other? Oh. I've, okay. Okay, so cut the shot before we even see the move happen or not. That's great. I'm going to assume that that pass didn't happen then. Um, but yeah. So Ricardo Zonta. So is he the... No, he's not the last of um, everyone else. Because there's a, um, a Sauber behind him. But no, us back four guys. That's the one. I mean, these are the four I'm concerned about personally. Obviously us two and then our two rivals. And the positions have stayed the same. And I've watched the first lap, I'm not going to watch the next 62, obviously. Um, no, no moves are being made. Nope. Alright then. Has everyone else maintained their position? I don't think there's been anything else of significance here. Apart from Damon Hill I did get past Heinz Frentzen. And anything else? No, I think that's all normal. Jean Lacey being um, the last of everyone apart from us back runners. So let's go fast forward time here. Oh, it's a 63 lap race, and there's quite a lot of laps. Hang on, Padoa. I was just saying about how he's not a very good driver, um, and how Padoa's unlucky. But, I mean, what, what has he done? Okay, he's not that far behind, but. We got a more powerful engine, and apparently, according to our emails, we get from. Is it Gustav Bruno sends us some? Whatever. Or Gabriel Chidozzi. We got brilliant aero parts, but yeah, we've been passed by Takaki. Oh, well, I don't actually think Takaki's finished the race this season. Why is he? I know, I know neither Arrow's finished the first race, both due to retirement. And look, look how far the other guys are ahead of us already. It's unbelievable, but anyway. Hopefully, Padoa can get past Takaki again. 
Hang on, David Coulthard. Oh, David. Oh, not David Coulthard. Got a suspension failure. I'm sorry, we've actually had quite a few retirements from McLaren's due to um, mechanical failures. Well, obviously, it's only due to driver errors because, well, Hackenden's a brilliant driver and David Coulthard was... He was alright. As drivers go, he was... He, well, I mean, he was alright. They had quite a few mechanical failures, which is weird to see from McLaren. I mean, you think that's the team that's less... Um, least likely to have mechanical failures, surely. Being, you know, such a big... Oh, Zanardi! But yeah, I was about to say McLaren being such a big, you know, well-known, established racing team. But yeah, Zanardi, God, I was just saying about how he might have another lucky race, you know. Like he did last race, no. Driver error, God, and Diniz. He's been an unlucky driver this season. Oh, I thought Padoa just retired then, but... You know, he's been... Hang on, Takaki. Well, he has too much action. We'll slow down time. But yeah, Diniz has been quite unlucky this season. I mean, he is in a cell, but what do you expect? But... Genet, oh, what's going on? I think Paris has just pitted early there. But yeah, Genet has um, got past De La Rosa. That's always good to hear, unless De La Rosa's pitted early. Let's have a look. But no, it says he's ahead by 8 seconds. That's interesting. When did he... Hang on. Oh, wow, he's pulling out a massive gap. See, I think that shows that we struggled to get past him or not. Um, we struggled to get past the hours, but once we do get past him... You know, we just blitz out. What about Gene? Oh no, hang on, I was looking at the wrong thing, was I? I always made that mistake. No, hang on, Pado. Oh no, so Della. I was looking at Padoa, so actually Della Rosa's actually pulling away from Padoa. Oh, that's not good. I mean, I said both drivers have had completely different setups. I think. I know Gene's outperformed Padoa all season so far, but judging by. The massive gap in pace. I think. I just think Padoa's had a terrible setup. I think he's just suggested a terrible setup to use. But no, Delarosa. Okay, Delarosa's actually only not far behind um, Gene, actually. Yeah, right behind him. God, I thought we upped our game, actually. I thought, man, I, I thought we upped our game. But no, I think. No, Arrows have upped their game massively. They actually. And they outqualified us. But then again, we never found that illustrious perfect setup like we have done the past couple of races. Hang on, has Delarosa got past? He's got past and all. Oh, great. Um, I don't really know what to do here. Pray for retirement, I guess. I mean, they've already had engine failures and such this season. So I know they it's unlikely for them to beat us for. Basically, oh, even Takaki's got past us. That better just be a pit stop strategy thing. Um, why is 18 seconds ahead? Um, I'd say it is. I reckon Takaki's just going to be paying a bit later. Well, I hope. Hakkinen. Oh my god, Hakkinen. Driver error. What's happened here? Hakkinen. You're supposed to be the world champion this year. You can't be having driver errors. Oh no, Gene. Oh bloody hell, Gene. You you can't even finish a race, man. You didn't finish last race. Oh, unbelievable. At least Padoa's kept it on track. But to us, if we're behind the arrows, that's not good. I mean, I'd rather retire than be behind the National with him. Yeah, and then Raul Schumacher, another retirement. He hasn't finished a race so far this season, has he? That is so typical of him. Literally. So typical of Ralph Schumacher, that's... Just, I won't be surprised if he doesn't finish a race at all, because knowing what Ralph Schumacher is actually like, and, well, you know, another suspension failure. I didn't, I didn't know that Imola was harsh on suspensions, but seemingly so. It's broken the McLaren and Williams suspension, and, oh no, two more retirements all at the same time, so... Truly, with a engine failure, that's a Peugeot engine, so we don't have to worry about that. And Fizzy Keller with Barge Woods. Fizzy Keller's been quite unlucky with retirements, hasn't he? He hasn't finished the race this season either. No, because I keep on saying about how he's a good driver, so how come he keeps on crashing out? That's really weird. 
But what is worrying is we need to score more points than arrows, and one of our drivers is down and out for the count. And if both of the arrows drivers are ahead of us, that means they'll be next. They'll be in front of us to get points, which means they'll score more points. And there's two of them. Oh, I'm actually getting worried. They're getting dangerously close to the points, which is obviously top six. But yeah, another barge will fail. So both Benettons are retiring this race. Um, how come we done a car mechanical failures? We just have blooming driver errors, and Frentzen's retired due to driver error. No, I'm not liking this. No, I'm not liking this. Stella Rosa. And what's happened to Panis? Good thing he's got passed. Stella Rosa's in 10th. I'm not really liking how close he is. <sighs> no. I don't, I'd, let's say hypothetically I get 6th. And they... Oh, no, nothing. Yeah, let's say hypothetically I get 6th and they get 4th and 5th. I don't want that at all. I really don't. It's going to be a struggle to get a point this season at all, let alone... It's oh, just... Great, and John Lacey. Oh, that was... I thought someone retired, but yeah, of course. Lap down, yeah, John Lacey. Engine failure, Pat um, Patronus. Oh, there's Patronus. That's what I was thinking of when I was saying Patron... Well, yeah. Patronus for Petrobus. No, no. I, I, please, no more retirements. Please. Hang on. De La Rosa! Driver error. Yes! Brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. Yes. I know Tukaki's still there, but. That means you've both got one driver in it. That makes you feel a lot better, actually. Especially as it's their better one. Driver error. I was, I was saying he, how he's not a bad driver, but, you know, I'll, I'll take that back. And to God, Kataki, Takaki's almost a minute ahead of us. Oh, no, and we're holding up a Stuart. Is that a Stuart? I think it is. John number 17, that's Johnny Herbert, I believe. Yeah, I believe so. Oh, well, whatever. So, we are dangerously close to the point. By, I'd rather not score any points if it means Takaki doesn't score any. Um, Jacques Villeneuve. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't see that, actually. Jacques Villeneuve. Suspension failure in the BAR. I'm saying BAR have had quite a few times. So I think we're noticing a pattern here. Of car well, I mean, Ferrari, I don't think I've had many retirements. Or Stewart. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Area win ninth. I think that's the highest position we've been all year. And it doesn't look like it's going to be any more times. So we're coming up to the end of the race with Schumacher's going to win it. God, that'll be, that'll be an upset if he wins the 99 championship. Sakano's so supposed to win it. Oh my god, no, no, no. Takaki's in the points. Oh, this isn't good. We need we Takaki's got nine laps to retire. Oh no. I think we might just call the season a quits to <laughs> we might just draw the season to a close already. Damn it. That's not good at all. That's really not good. No, because there's no one, there's no other teams we realistically beat. Especially BAR is one of them, and they're getting a. F oh no! I genuinely think right now that the season, I think I'm going to be sacked because we have to get tenth for the constructors for me to keep my job next year. And with this, this is a massive upset. I genuinely think going to be sacked, because I don't see how we're going to score any more points. Now we're going to advance time to see if Takaki retires. Please say he does, please say he does. He's not going to, is he? Oh, no. I don't want this. I do not want this in my life. Takaki, come on. Just break down, just please. Break down. I, I don't want you finishing in the points. Of all people, I thought if an hour was as good as score points, it'd be De La Rosa. Not Takaki. 
Gosh, this is way too tense. This is way too tense now. Oh, 38 seconds right. Well, we ain't gonna catch up. If I just put on push or risk everything, it'll just probably just crash out anyway, and we ain't gonna catch up 38 seconds. Look! Look at the difference. There's only three cars left running. Because the top three have finished. Or well, top four, whatever. Oh. No. Yes! Hang on! Oh no, hang on. No, that's no, that hasn't changed at all. Okay, I just saw Zonta retire. I thought Takaki retired. Damn it. Well, that puts us in the points as well, but that that doesn't make the problem any different. That just means they've got two points and we've got one. Yeah, because it goes 10 6. Is it 10 6? I can't even remember how the points go actually. Is it. Or well, anyway, I think Takaki will get two points and we'll get one. I've never been so not happy about getting a point. Takaki's gonna finish fifth, isn't he? Yeah, we finished sixth. We're lap behind, but we still get that. Well, that spiced up the championship a lot, actually. That spiced up a lot. So the race results in the best race so far this season, Imola. Got Schumacher first, Irvine second, Barrichello third, Johnny Herbert fourth, Takaki fifth. Mesmerizing, to be honest. And Padoa sixth. So we've got our, our first points of the season, but unfortunately, so have Arrows. And they've got more points than us. With a double Stuart, double Ferrari finish. That's, that's worrying. We'll continue. Um, nah, that's really, that's not, no, that's not good. I'm actually genuinely worried about what might happen now. Ferrari dominates. True. True, although Hackman did whatever, whatever. I'm not worried about that. I couldn't be any less phased about that right now. Just where is it? Where is it? Yeah, Takaki's got two points. Oh no. Um, which the constructors we're more concerned about. Okay, so we are actually. We are actually 7th in the Constructors, so technically I wouldn't get sacked, but I'll bet you, at some point between now and the end of the season, one of these four teams is going to score more than a the point, they've got to. I mean, BAR damn nearly got two points this race, they just retired right near the end, Zonta did. No, that's made it very interesting. It's game on then. It is game on. So we okay, so we've proved that we can score points. Both me and ours have proved that we can score points. It is game on now. Because ours is the only team we are likely to beat, but it's game on now, it is. We can score points, ours can score points. It is game on. And oh I'm not I'm no longer rated best manager. Jean Todd as well, I mean he did just get a one two in fairness. So I can understand that. What about Harris? Yeah, Tom Walkinshaw. Yeah, I mean, I think he should be rated better than me. I don't know why I'm rated better than him. It could be the contracts I've signed next year, which I haven't revealed yet. Hmm, I don't know. But yeah, Eddie Jordan rated not too well, obviously. I mean, he's arranged for Ford C Tech engines there. And similarly, Ron Dennis. Horrible decisions for um, suppliers next year. And that's just rated him not very well. But Rocco Benetton still being rated the worst manager, which fair enough. I mean, surely his team should have scored points by now, but here we go. But I'll tell you the good thing about getting a point. Um, one good thing anyway, but apart from obviously championship standings, is that we get 300k for scoring a point. I think if you win, you get 3 million or something, but yeah. So we got 1.8 from sponsorship, 30 grand from merchandise. And 300 grand from t shirts, so we're rich. So I don't think I'm going to be sacked for mismanagement of funds at this rate. But god, I might be sacked due to constructor stands. I'm actually really nervous about it now. Oh no, this is interesting. This is interesting. But yeah, we still have the most advanced electronics, barge boards, front wings, rear wings, and I'm not going to question it. I've already explained how I think it's a little bit weird. 
Well, anyway. Right, okay. Second and eight. Next race is Monte Carlo. Oh, no. God, we might, might. We'll have retirements galore there. I mean, it is Monaco after all. You never know. God, well, that's a shoddy diagram, I'll be honest. But anyway. Um, I don't know. The fastest lap was actually set last year. Not 97 for a change. Anyway, yeah, so two weeks' time. Obviously, two in game weeks' time. Got the next race at Monaco. And now the championship is spiced up a lot. There's many things we all think about now, but yeah. Um, I guess we'll just have to see the constructors as the season develops. So, I'll see you guys next time around Monte Carlo, Monaco, where hopefully we can get some points to go ahead of Arrows next year. No, not next year. In time, well, after the next race. Just get some points to be ahead of Arrows. So I'll see you then.